Hey guys. Hi. Hey. Are you seriously eating an apple right now, Sophie? Yep. Yeah. I just finished eating a donut. It was huge. It was about as big as my plate. All right. He literally hasn't even signed in on the apps. Anyway, you bring your kids here. You have to go get All right, let me see who's here. Sophie is here. You're supposed to fill out. Sophie, is brother with you? Is it not like a Liz asking if your kids were going to go to school? I don't feel anything now. Yeah. All right. Um, if you will please mute yourself. Yeah, I, don't, I feel like we're down here. I don't think it matters. I feel like we're down here so far. Yeah. But I mean, I don't. Hard to hate. If your wife will break. All right. Sophie's here. Sophie, is brother with you? Yes, I'm stuck. Okay, brother. So, um, Tiffany, get this to you again. Good, morning. good morning, Piper, still. It's technically still morning. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Have lunch. Is it raining? Hey, Grayson. Huh? Thank you, Mama. Oh, they're zooming. Oh, she's zooming. Yeah. Yeah. Are you on mute? Hmm. All right, whew. Um, let me see. Hey, Ariel, and good. Hi, Sophia. Um, Sully, you're there. Hey, Sully. And Amaya, I see your name. Say, are you there with me, Amaya? Yes. All right, oh, Lucy's trying to get in. Hey, Lucy, if you're still connecting. Okay. Oh. Hi. Awesome. Hey. I love that, man. All right. So we've got a good start to, um, to our day. We're going to go ahead and start with uh, number talks. And we're going to also start a new standard today. Um, if you are a Team 1 uh, student, then you got you got in your virtual work packet new a new standard and new vocabulary words. So we're going to talk about those. Uh, team two students, you'll see those starting next week or starting tomorrow or Friday, um, as we wrap things up with uh, factors and multiples for team two when you come back. All right, so. I always have technical difficulty in math, I feel like, so I'm gonna try. Wish me luck that everything works. Hey, it's working. Okay, saw that. So now I'm gonna share my screen so we can... Where'd it go? This is, oh, Camden's here. Okay. Hey, here we go. Let's look in now. All right, and I'm going to. Um, I'm sure you guys, I can see everyone on my side so that when you're giving me your signals for uh, number talks, um, I can see you, okay? All right. 
So if you don't have your video on, right, you're going to have to give me a thumbs up um, on the screen with your little thumbs up icon. Oh, I've got a couple of people who did that well. I, I'm not sure who that is. That's not on the screen. Um, and remember, if you're thinking, right, you're giving me a fist. If you have a strategy, it's a thumbs up. If you have a second strategy, you've got um, a second finger up. Um, if you hear something that you like, a strategy that you agree with, right, this is our signal. Okay, so let's talk. I'm working on two computer screens, so you know how hard that is for Mrs. Sony, technology in and of itself. All right, here we go. So we're going to work on making... Um, friendly numbers. Okay. So these numbers are one away from a friendly number. And let's see if that helps you. Remember, you're doing this mentally, right? We're practicing mental math strategies. Um, so let's do this. 39 plus 16. Okay. So if you have, if you have a strategy, right, you're giving me a thumbs up. I mean, what's, what was the answer again? You're, you are figuring out the answer for 39 plus 16. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Sophia, tell me what your strategy was. Nine. Sophie, I'm sorry. Sophie, tell me what your strategy was. I put um nine. What? 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 Exactly what I did. Okay. So, Sophie, mm -hmm. I can't hear you. What's your strategy? Bella Shush. It was nine plus one. I did, where did you get the one from? Nine plus one. Sixteen. Okay. So you took six. Okay. So nine plus one is? Ten. Okay. And then six plus three. Wait, what? You take this nine plus one from 16? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then what? And then I get three plus six. So this three though is three plus, where did you get the three from? 39. So you took 39 down by three? Yes. Okay, so three plus six. What did you, okay, is nine. Uh -huh. Okay. And then what? Okay. I did. Mm. Sophie, are you with me still? So what's your next, what's the next part? Because we're not done yet. It's 10 plus 9. Okay. And then I did 19 plus 16. And what's that? Thirty-five. Okay. And then I get thirty-five plus thirty-nine. Plus thirty-nine. Okay. All right. So. Well, I'm uh, okay. Let's talk about another strategy. I'm I'm a little bit confused how we got 35 plus 39 when we're only adding 39 plus 16. We got a little. I think we got a little sidetracked. So let's um. Let's see if someone else can share a strategy. Um, 
Let's see. Camden, you had your hand up. I think I can only see the top of your head, but I think you were giving me the signal that you have a strategy. You want to tell me? I did 16 plus 39. You Did you just do it? You just stacked it? Yeah. Like that? And what did yeah. you get? 55. Okay. Um, let's see. Lucy, I see you giving me a thumbs up. Do you have a strategy? Um, so what I did is I first um, added the 10 and um, that was four. So I was you added 40. the three and the one? Yeah, and it was 40. Okay, so and 30 plus 10 is 40. Got it. Then I did nine plus six, okay. which is 15. Okay. And I added that 10 um, to the tens place. Okay. So um, it was 55. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you to think about this as a, also a strategy that a student explained to me their thinking. Um, so they said, well, 39 is very, very close to 40. So I'm just going to think 40 plus 16 is 56, right? Or I even, I could think 40 plus 10 is 50 plus 6 is 56. But then I know... I, I added one for, to 39 to get to 40, a nice round landmark number. So I'm gonna have to take one away from my answer, right? Is 55, right? So that was just a second strategy a, a student explained to me their thinking um, last year. So I thought I'd share that with you. All right, so. Here we go. Let's think of Lucy. You just turned yourself upside down. Um, Amaya, did you have a question? Yeah. Okay. What was your question? Um, I know thirty-six. Wait, like thirty-nine plus um, sixteen. Okay. So when we do our number talks, right? Um, I when I see hands, I ask a few people to share strategies. So the next one that I, the next problem that I do, I'm, I'm gonna look to see if you can share a strategy for it, okay? Okay. All right, so here we go. How about 59 plus 13? Lucy, you're making me nauseous. 16, nine, uh, All right, I'm looking for a thumbs up when you have a strategy to share. Right. Two, three. Seventy two. All right, Grayson, sh share your strategy with me. I did. I took the nine away from fifty. Okay. And then I um added um th thirteen. Okay. So you said nine plus thirteen. No, 50 plus 13. Oh, okay, okay. 50 plus 13 is what? Is um 63. Okay. And then I added 9 to 63. Okay. And I got 72. Okay. Did anyone else have a different strategy that you used? Amaya, I saw your thumb go up. So tell me your strategy. I added 59 plus 13. Okay, so you stacked it like this, 59 plus 13? Yeah. And what it, was your answer? Tell me I, how you figured that out. Because if you count up, if you 
the nine plus three is twelve. You, you put the one over the um five, and okay. then that, that that's seven. And okay. That's two. Can y'all see the bottom of my screen? My barely. Screen? Can y'all see no, that? Barely. Just I barely. Can't. Okay. So, um, Lucy, did you have another strategy? No. All right. So something to think about, um, I had, um, I think it was two years ago, somebody said, a student said to me, well, I can take 50, right? Start out sort of like Grayson did. And then I'm just going to add the 10 from this 13 and get 60 because that's easy, right? And then this nine is just one away from 10. So I'm going to add 10 more to get 70. And then I'll take the three from the 13, right? And that gives me 73. But since I, I added one to this nine, I know I need to take away to get 72, right? So mentally they did that in their head because that's how they saw the numbers um, to make it quick mental math, all right? So these are skills just for you to practice how the numbers make sense to you. We're gonna do one more and then we're gonna move on to our next standard. Let's see. Let's do 28 plus 39. Good, I see a few thumbs. Um, Camden, tell me what you did. I did 39 plus 28. All right, so you stacked it? Yeah. Okay, and then what answer, tell me how you got your answer. I counted up until I got the, 17 on 9 plus 8. Okay. And then what'd you do? And then I counted up 5, then I counted the 5, and I got 6. Okay, so you said 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 more is 6? Yeah. Okay. Did anyone have a different strategy? A different strategy. You did not stack the numbers. You did it differently. Grayson, how'd you do it? I did, um, I took the eight away from 20 and then okay. I put 20 and okay. I took away the nine from 30 okay. and I put plus 30 okay. and then that equals 50. Okay. So then I knew if like nine in, and if you made the eight another nine, it'll be 18. So I turned, put the 50 under it and I made 17. Wait, hold on, you lost me. I knew if eight uh -huh. and eight makes 16. Oh, and then okay. Plus so you, one okay. Okay. makes 17. So you so knew 17 that. plus 50. So you thought of this, you went, this is close to an eight and eight and eight is 16. And then you added the one more. Okay. Got it. Okay. Keep going. I'm with you. And, and then 17 plus 50 equals, um, I forgot my answer. Uh, 67. Very good. Very good. All right. Um, Ooh, Camilla's giving you a clapping hands. I like that. Um, uh, Lucy, did you have a different strategy? Thank you for that support of Grayson's nice explanation. 
Did you have a different strategy, Lucy? Um, I sent it to you. I typed it. You typed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check this out. All right. Let me see. Who put waffles in the chat? Plus the two equals. Now, I hope that I won't have to um, disable our chat feature if the chat becomes disruptive because you guys are good at writing answers in. Ooh, Camilla's been doing it too. Y'all have been sneaky. Um, let's see. So she's... I agree. That's mine. Okay, awesome. Lots of good answers um, as you are typing in. Amaya, I see your hand up. Yes, ma'am. Um, I actually typed it to you. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I like all that interaction. Um, good strategies. So I'm going to stop sharing this. And I want to talk to you about our ander. See if this works, guys. Uh, let's see. So the new math standard that we're going to work on as well. Uh -oh. I forgot. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to touch it anymore. Um, we're going to start working on area and perimeter in math. Okay, so our standards, like these are the actual standards that the teachers read when we're trying to figure out what we're going to teach you or like how to um, make sure you get all your information as fourth graders. And so it says solve problems with area and perimeter, right? I want you to listen for verbs. Those are action words, right? The stuff that you have to do. Right, so can you, if you type in the chat, the verbs that you hear or read, okay? Find areas of rectilinear figures with known side lengths. Solve problems involving a fixed area and varying perimeters and a fixed perimeter and varying areas. <laughs> Apply the area and perimeter formulas for rectangles in real world and mathematical problems. Okay. So let me see if I can see the chat, if you guys have some of those action words down. I'm just leaving my chat up. That's what I'm doing. I probably should have left my chat up. And so I just Let's get see. no space. Uh, ooh, good job, Sophie and Vincent. Find, solve, thank you, Lucy. Find, solve, apply. Good job, Piper. Mm. All right. So those are the things that you need to do, right? Find, solve, and apply. All right. Now, I want you to, as you were listening to me read, oh, and I'm moving it all around. Okay. As you were listening to me read, what words there did I say and you were like, I have no idea what Mrs. Honig's talking about, right? Were there any words that you just don't know what they mean? And it's okay if you don't know what they mean because we're just starting, right? Find areas of rectilinear figures with known side lengths. Solve problems involving a fixed area and varying perimeters and a fixed perimeter and varying areas. 
apply the area and perimeter formula for rectangles in real world and mathematical problems. All right, Grayson's Grayson's brave and he's got his hand up. Grayson, what word did um you it up? was like I think it was rectilinear. Rectilinear, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a crazy word, isn't it? Okay. Any other words that tricked you up? Everything else you know. All right. Well, then we're going to. I'm going to look at this. And. Well, I need to move you guys. We're going to look at vocabulary. Now, this vocabulary you have, right, um, on your screen, but I've got to find it here. So, the words that you feel like you know, um, Perimeter. What is perimeter? You said you felt like you knew that. So what is perimeter? Let's see. Um, Lucy, what's perimeter? Perimeter is like how long the outside is, like the outside of the shape, and the okay. area is um, in like the opposite of the area. Okay, so perimeter is the distance around, right? The distance around a shape. Area is the number of square units that you would need to cover inside the shape, to cover inside the flat surface, okay? Um, so the short answer, Grayson, to the word that tripped you up is, um, let me ask this. When you, when I taught kindergarten, I taught kids about flat shapes and fat shapes, right? Two dimensional shapes and three dimensional shapes. Have y'all ever heard about that? Fat and flat? or two-dimensional and three-dimensional? Give me a thumbs up if you have ever heard that there are two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional shapes. All right, Ariel, Lucy, Grayson. Okay, so a two-dimensional shape would be something you could draw on a piece of paper, right? a circle, a square, a rectangle, right? It's flat. Yeah. A three-dimensional shape um, is like a ball or a cube or a box, right? So, or a cone. Those things have um, more than just the four sides, right? So, fat, Fat shapes and flat shapes, right? A circle is not the same as a ball, right? A basketball has, you can touch it all or all the way around, right? But a circle that you draw on paper is flat. Okay. Ah, very good example of flat shapes, Sophie. Thank you. I'd right? rather it. Thank you, Vincent. Very good. Now, so a rectilinear figure is a flat shape and all the sides have to meet at right angles or whose sides meet at all at right angles. So it could be, let me see, I'm going to share my screen and give you some examples. Okay, so right, a square is a rectilinear shape if all those sides meet, right? Um, a rectangle is a rectilinear shape, right? Um, but it could be 
a shape like that, an irregular polygon, right? Where you have everything has a right angle, but it's not a traditional shape, okay? This would not be a rectilinear shape because it's open, that all the sides don't meet. Okay? I don't even think that's a shape. So a rectilinear shape is a flat shape, just like I've drawn, because it's flat, it's on a, on a drawing board, right? And all the sides meet at right angles. Assuming that my art, you can understand my art, okay? Oh, yeah, I guess. Right? That is a rectilinear shape. It has all right angles and it's a closed shape. Okay? So we are going to be working to find area and perimeter. It also in our standard talks about when you know some of the information, but you don't, how do you use that to figure out the, what, the part that you don't know, right? Um, kind of like our, our word problems that we have to figure out, well, what do we know and how are we gonna figure out the missing piece, okay? So what I want us to do, I'm gonna stop sharing this and I'm gonna show you. Let's see if I can get out of that. There we go. Okay, so here is kind of to get us kicked off. I want you to be able to see the screen, okay? Um, Uh-oh. Where did it go? Why is it so quiet? Um, hopefully because everyone's paying close attention to what I'm doing. Okay, so it says, this is kind of to get you, your brain started thinking, okay? This says, uh -huh. uh, Marissa has a 64, has 64 meters of fencing. She is using the fencing to border a rectangular flower garden, right? Marissa wants the length of the garden to be 20 meters. And if she uses all of the fencing, what will the be the width of the rectangular garden? So we know a rectangle has two sides that are longer and two sides that are shorter. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with me on that. Right? Do we agree? Okay. So that is a piece of information that is important for us to understand is that, um, if we're thinking about a rectangle, right, then we have two sides that are longer and two sides that are shorter. Now we know from the word problem, how, how long, what's the length of Marissa's flower garden going to be? What did it say? Okay. 20 meters. It says 20 meters. Okay. So first, let's talk about how do we figure out what perimeter is? How do we, um, how are we gonna figure this out? Are we gonna think about this as the perimeter, the area outside the garden? Or are we gonna figure out all of the space inside the garden? Right? Outside. Right, we need to figure out the area, the perimeter outside the garden if we're putting a fence up, right? A fence goes around the outside. You don't put a fence inside a garden, right? You put it around the outside edges. Do we agree with that? Yep. Yep, yeah. okay. So we know now, if we're gonna figure out perimeter, how do we do that? How do we figure out a perimeter of a rectangle? 
Any ideas? Do you remember from third grade? The Amaya, you have your hand up. Can you tell me how to figure out the perimeter of a rectangle? Um, so don't go telling people. They need to figure it out. Yeah, I thought you had your hand up, Amaya. I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you know? Uh, do you want to phone a friend? All right. Um, Lucy, tell me how you how what how do you figure out perimeter? Um, you add the length of all of the sides, um, and to determine the perimeter, you just need to add the length of all the sides. The length of all the sides. Okay. So we need length. Oh, it's not gonna let me type in it. We need to add the length of both sides and the width, the measurement of the width of both sides, right? All right. Um, so I'm gonna take some of this down. You put this in the class. Why are you gonna do that problem? Put me on mute so she can continue in class. You're not supposed to be just sitting. All right. So if we have the length plus the length plus the width plus the width, right? And that is going to get us the area. Okay. Now from our word problem, what do we know is the length. We know that she has 64 meters of fence. Oh, I said area. Oh, perimeter. <laughs> Look at me. Perimeter. Um, we know she has 64 meters of fencing. And how long did she want the... Um, she wanted the length to be 20 meters, right? Mm -hmm. So we know one of the lengths is 20 okay. and we know the other length is 20, right? Because in a rectangle, they're both the same, they're, they're parallel, mm -hmm. right? So how much did we use? How many meters did we use just in the length? 20 plus 20? 40. 40, right? 40 meters. And how much total space did we have to use? How much, how many total meters of fencing did we have to use? Uh, Why did it go in, Jasmine? What does it say in the word problem? I wanted to say. Do you think we're sisters after we Y'all can see it on my screen. What does it what does it say in the word problem? How many total meters does she have? 64. Ooh, someone said it. 64 is correct. Okay. So she has a total of 64 to use. Uh-huh. Right? But she's already used how much on the sides? 40? Mm-hmm. How much is left? That's 64 minus 40. Grayson, what's 64 minus 40? 24. 24. All right, so she has 24 meters left, right? So is that our answer? Yeah. I want you to think about our, how we're figuring this out. We need a length and a length plus a width and a width. 
right? Oh, I know the answer. We have two measurements of 20 meters each. That's our length. So what are we going to figure, what are we going to put in our width, uh, for our width measurements? Um, what are we going to put for our width measurements? Uh, right, if you were building a fence, I want you to think about that. If you were building a fence, right, right now we have it like this. Uh-oh, uh sorry about that. We have 20 meters and we have 20 meters here. It will be 12. And we know she's got 24 meters of fencing left, but how are we going to, how are we going to fence the other, the remaining two sides of our rectangle? Lucy. I, would, I just want to, I don't have the answer, but I just wanted to tell you that I can only see half of the screen. Okay. The, Me too. Yeah. Okay, so which, what part can you see? What uh, part is blocked? I can see the half that has the word problem on it. Can you see the whiteboard? No. You don't see the whiteboard at all? No. I can only see half also. Oh my goodness. Okay, Dang. hang tight. I thought I'd I can barely the see the garden. Over. Yeah. I can only see like a little corner of the garden. I can um, see the time. Question mark meter. <laughs> That's all I see, question mark meter. Yeah. Thanks. And also I wrote my answer in the chat. Oh. Now I can see the whiteboard, but not the uh, no problem. Okay, so let's focus on the whiteboard. We know that we have 64 meters of fencing and we figured out that you have that we have already used for Marissa's already used 40 meters of fencing for two <coughs> lengths. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you helped me do the math that said we had 20 meters left. Well, how are we going to separate that, Tiffany? Are you going to tell me something? You have a pencil? Mm. Are right, how are we going to separate the, the 24 meters we have left to fit in work. the two other ends of our rectangle? Let me see. Let me check my chat and see what's going on there. All right. So I see lots of answers. Yeah. Okay. So good job, Grayson. So I'm going to take this 24 meters and I'm going to put 12 meters on this side to build my fence on this end. And I'm going to put 12 meters on this side to build, to close in my fence so no little bunny rabbits can get into my garden and eat my flowers. <laughs> right? And bunny rabbits I want like you to add all of these sides Ooh. together okay. and see if it's you hard. have used Ooh. all the fencing that Marissa had available. Don't do this. No, 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 no. Quit. Width equals parameter. That's the view. Equals P. So we should, what? let me check my paper here. She had 64 meters of fencing to use. And when I add 20 plus 20, I got 40. 
And then I'm going to take a 10 from here and a 10 from here. So 40, 50, 60. And then I'm going to count 2, 4, 62, 64. I think we've used all of our fencing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is an example of figuring out our perimeter and using some information that we know to then figure out what we don't know. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to stop sharing my whiteboard. Okay. And I want to show you. What the heck? I can't see all of it. Now I, I can. I now. think I minimized my screen trying to do both. All right. No, I can't. Now I want you to look and see. Um, here we go. Right. So on our screen, this is another way of thinking. Now. They have written, right? They wrote our perimeter is length plus length plus width plus width, right? We agreed with that. You might also see perimeter as two times length, right? Because when you add two groups of something together, that's multiplication plus two times width, right? It's another sort of upper grade way of thinking about the formula. Okay. So two times the length is just saying the length plus the length. I don't want you to get tricked up by seeing that multiplication. Okay. Why she said two times the length plus two times the length is the same thing as length plus length plus width plus width. That's all what it means. What this means is what this means. Okay. And then we did this part on the whiteboard, right? Mrs. Honig wrote it a little bit messier, right? But we knew there was 64 meters. We knew that each length was 20 meters. So there were two lengths that were 20 meters. That was two times 20 or 20 plus 20, right? Yeah. And we all came to the to the math results the, that 64 minus 40 is 24. That's what we had left to use, but we had to fence two sides in. So we put 12 meters on each side. Okay. Okay. So um, if we were going to have um, a perimeter of a poster, right? A rectangular poster and the perimeter was 14 feet. It's a big poster. The perimeter is 14 feet. What does perimeter mean? What is the perimeter? What does that tell us? Uh. What does that tell us? Um, Sophia. The length of it. What does the perimeter tell us? Oh, goodness gracious. Who's got their hand up? Oh, guys, you're killing me today. You're all sleepy. Um, Camilla, what does the perimeter tell us? Can you tell me? Okay. Grayson. Around the outside. Around the outside. So can you see me drawing on my whiteboard? Does it look like a funny looking square? I mean, oh, rectangle? It looks like a rectangle, yeah. right? 
and I wrote that our perimeter of our poster was 14 feet, right? I drew us a picture because drawing um, helps us if we don't quite know what we're doing, if we sketch out some illustrations, that helps. And it said that the width, right, was four feet. So if our poster is four feet wide on the bottom, it's also four feet wide on the top, right? Do we agree with that? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Right. So we know, so our formula is perimeter, right? And we can mm -hmm. say um, length plus length, uh-oh, length plus length plus width plus width, right? Or two length plus two width, right? Two times length plus two times width. So what information do we know from up here, right? We know that the perimeter is 14 feet, right? It told us that. All yeah. the way around our rectangle, rectangular poster is 14 feet, okay? okay? We also know that our length is four feet. So that means two times four, right? We have four feet on the bottom, four feet on the top, okay? So how much is that? How much of our perimeter is the top and the bottom. What's two times four? Uh, two times four. Camilla? Eight. Eight, right? All right. Well, we know we've used eight feet. There we go. We've used eight feet from our 14, right? Yeah. So what's left over? What's 14 minus eight? Um. What's 14 minus eight? 10. Oh. Uh, Sophie. Six. 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 All right. So if we have six feet left. 14 minus eight equals six. And we need, we need two sides of a poster, right? How, what are we gonna do with this six feet? We need to fill in something here and something here. What makes sense? I need a measurement on all four sides of my rectangle, right? And I only have six feet left to work with. Grayson. Grayson, I couldn't hear you. Three. You need to put three feet here and three feet here. Sorry, I was still to, muted. To get all 14 feet accounted for, right? If I add four plus four, that's eight. And eight plus six is 14, right? We will be, um, the tricky part when we get into fourth grade is when you have those shapes that are not traditional rectangles and squares. This is really when we use that problem solving skill 
um, to figure out the missing pieces, okay? Okay. Um, questions for me as we wrap up our area and perimeter. You have questions about what you're supposed to do? Sophie. Is this my paper or Vincent's? Yours. Okay. Is it okay. factors and prime? Factors and multiples? Yep. Yep, it's yours. Amaya. Um, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, how did you get a uh, 14 minus 8 to get? Six feet. Okay. Um, hang tight for me. I finally knew how to do deaf language. Okay. Can you still see my board or did I stop sharing it? I can see it. You can still see it? Okay. Yeah. So if we know, right, if we know our poster is 14 feet. We know the perimeter is 14 feet. And we know that the length or width is four feet. And we know that would be top and bottom because it's a rectangular shape. So the measurements on the opposite sides are the same. Right? Miss H. Then we can say <laughs> length plus length plus width plus width, right? <laughs> if we have four plus four, how much is that? Uh, Mom, when are you going to get me to play? Amaya, four plus four is what? Eight. Eight. Miss right? eight. Right? And if our total is 14, but we've already used up eight feet from our, um, from our total amount, we have to figure out what our leftover is. She said eight is for the, from the total amount of what adding four plus four. Did you, get, you understand that part? Mm -hmm. the, eight, the eight part? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now she's asking what is the dif difference between eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if, I was a, if I knew I had, I only had 14 feet to use, but I had to use four feet on the bottom and four feet on the top, right? Four plus four is eight. Then I have to know, well, how much do I have left over for the two sides? Six. Six, that's exactly right. So then if I have six left over for two sides, I have to separate that six to cover both the first side and the second side. How am I going to separate that? How can I divide six into two equal parts for the other two sides of my rectangle? Two sides. So she's asking how you do two sides. So what's two times what? Me, not me. Oh, Miss H. What would you say? No. Yes, you said. No, I can't. All right, guys. Hang tight for me. Um, I see you, Ariel. Hang tight. Three. Yes. So if you have, then you need three here and three on the other side. And when you add up four plus three plus four plus three, you're going to get 14 feet because you've used up all of the, all of the um, sides. Oh, Sophia. Whatever. Amaya, did that help a little bit? Yeah, that helped a little. Okay, we're going to keep working on it um, when you come back to it's class uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Ariel. My mom texted you something at class dojo. Do dojo. Hey, Ariel. What? Okay, I will, um, be on I will send it out, Ariel. Thank you. I will send it out. Okay. Um, all right. Any other questions for me? So, ma'am. No. no. Has anyone else? Uh, I know Ariel has tried to get into ReadWorks and he needs the class code. Has anyone else tried to get into ReadWorks? Yeah. yeah. I, 
I did it. Um, and it asked for the class on my username and password. Um, I did it though. I got in and I did the assignment. So how? So how did you do that? I just Are went you? in. Um, and it when I typed in my password and stuff in the class code, it said um, it said that's not right. So I just went back through. Um, and I didn't have to do it the second time I went in. Okay. And well, we did that, but it didn't work. Clever. Yeah. Okay. I just had to. Um, I just the second I, time. Um, I just typed it in in the search instead of clicking on the icon, um, and it worked. Okay. What is did that? You Sophie? Use your, did you Sophia? use it's your uh, username and password? Yeah. I and know my your, username your... and password. I just don't know the class code. Okay. No. Okay. Um. Miss Honig. Yes. Who said my name? Sophia. Sophia, yes. Uh, Sophia, I like your rock. It's a crystal, but in a rock. I, I just said that earlier. I messed up on the sentence. You're not part of this. Well, I want to say the rock. Is any, um, I need you. Help me. Oh, okay. That looks so dope. That okay. looks pretty. So, um. He has my foot. No, I don't. What do you mean by he has your foot? He was holding my leg up. My brother, this guy right here. Oh, uh, little Batman? <laughs> yes. Little Batman. Oops, somebody has their. Ow. All right, so Lucy, for sure, I've got yours. So your assignment worked. Um, Ariel, are you ready? Can you write down the class code? Mm -hmm. I need to get my what class code. The class code for rework. This I'm ready for the class code. All right, so the class code for ReadWorks is N N N. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I gotta write it down. Wait, wait. what? Mom! Hold on, I gotta write it down. What is the note? Um, and then, and then. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. N, 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 wait, N, N, N. I can't hear it, anything. Is it capital or capital or? Hold on, Miss Honig. Um, what was is it, it capital again? or no? Guys, no? I will. I will tell you, but you have to start stop yelling out questions to me, or you're not going to hear me. Okay. The the code for ReadWorks is N N N V. Mm -hmm. 7L. Got it. Got it. All right. You should be able to just use your username, which is always your lunch number, and our password that you use for everything because you've already claimed the account once. But if you need the class code, that's what it is. Miss H. All right. Bye, Lucy. Yes, Tiffany. I had to get in. Go to Clever. Go to do we Clever. leave or do we still stay? Uh, you can go unless you have questions. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys, unless you have questions. Tiffany, if you go to Clever on the iPad, the ReadWorks is the um, big blue R. Bye. Uh, actually, it's a blue box with a white R. Okay. Anybody else have questions? Nope. Good. Okay. Stop. Miss Phonic. Yes. Look, I, I see. You. It's beautiful. Is it pink or purple? Pink and purple and white and black. It looks beautiful. I don't know what kind of is. Ask you it's about it. It was one dollar. Real. What? 
It was one dollar. It was at the mountains, and it was one dollar, and it's real. Super cool. It's awesome. All right. Bye. Sophie, do you and Vincent need something? The class code for beadworks. Okay. N N N. N N N. V. V. Seven. Seven. L. L. I see your hand, Amaya. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Amaya, what you need? Um. So, so I know what it means, but it just. It just it just makes my mind blown. It's like there's a lot of things like science. It's like science. You, okay, so go. I need you to use some nouns and verbs. What do you know? What it means? Um. No. Okay, so she's asking about nouns and verbs. So this is what I mean by the packet in here for nouns and verbs. She gets